Don't just stand there, bub. Pull up a chair and welcome to El Gato Pub. All right. Well, one tick blood tequila then, please. The house special. Coming right up, pal. Oh, so what else you got? We got Cat Fight Nights! Bingo's Nights! Scavenger Hunting! And Flash Mob Stunts Thank you. 
Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Thank you, Raiders, coming on in. Hey, Ken. How are you, sweetie? How is everybody out there? All the Raiders coming on in here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out here. It is it is another episode of Tequila Talk tonight. Uh, we have an absolutely fantastic guest. Um, guys, it's episode 16, which is amazing. I'm just, I'm, I'm floored. I'm floored. 16 episodes so far. Wow been doing this for for a little we didn't even know if we were going to do this more than once I mean, like for a hot minute you know, guys a hot minute yeah we, we yeah it wasn't for sure whether it was going to be yeah. a year even i know Do people like it i know. You know oh so far people seem to like it i know <laughs> so it's well, great apparently apparently, apparently. Um, welcome everybody to uh, to another episode. Um, we uh, we used to be talking about our favorite agave spirit. Uh, we still talk about it every now and again, but we've kind of converted over to talking to basically voice actors and see see what makes them tick. Talk about their favorite franchises. Talk about themselves. Talk about what they do. It's just basically a really nice interview. Uh, big shout out to everybody in the chat. I already shouted out all the raiders coming in here. Thank you so much for the uh, for we got a we got a new follower there. Hey, a rabid. Uh, what is that? Is it Rabbids? Uh, C- Rabbit CB. TV, Rabbit CB TV. On yeah. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for the uh, for the follow, sweetie. Uh, Jorge is in the house. Luke the Vault Dweller is in the house. Zombie Killer, how are you, sweetie? We uh, let's and just so you guys know, for Tequila Talk, we shut off all the uh, all the walk on no- all the walk on music for you guys. We shut off all everything because of the fact we want to make sure that we focus in on the uh, uh, on our guest. Uh, Super Tech in the house. Charles Miami. Come, but that doesn't mean I don't I don't shut you guys out. <laughs> So, yeah, uh, yeah, we don't do the music, but you get the five minutes of you get the five along. minutes of me shouting you out. Um, <laughs> we got Gods of War, Lazy on Three. How are you doing? Lazy on Three in the house on a Friday. Hey, Lazy on Three. We got Fen. Fen was first one in the house. Big shout out to Fen. We love ourselves from Fen. Uh, let's see here. Who else we got in the house? We got uh, Katie Mean Green is popping in here. Hey, Katie Mean Green, how are you, sweetie? Happy Friday, guys. Happy Friday. <laughs> Uh, we got, of course, uh, let's see who else we got in here that I'm kind of seeing here. I want to make sure I get everybody in here. Uh, CB, I was Navy. Oh, Navy CB. Okay. Yeah. CB, got Rabbit it. Rabbit CB. Rabbit CB, got it. Jet Boy, welcome, Jet Boy. Falls from trees. Thor Spoon. Thor Spoon in the house as well. Oh, my God, you guys. How is everybody tonight? Well, let's um, let's get uh, let's get going here. So, a um, few things we need to shout out housekeeping-wise hashtag mr dark hashtag mr dark that's right you guys know on every tequila talk friday we give away a 50 dollars gift card to the bethesda gear store so make sure you guys put in hashtag mr dark also tonight uh we are kicking off uh this is our first june uh stream and we are kicking off we are going we are part of the longest day uh, we're part of the stream team, uh, of course, follow up for Hope Stream Team, and we are raising money for uh, to fight Alzheimer's disease. Um, I, I know that many of you out there, actually, we've seen a lot of stories coming in from the Gatos on the Discord with uh, people who've had uh, actual family members or who they're, they're helping family members. Uh, it's a horrible, horrible disease. I know that my, uh, my best friend from junior high school, uh, she is dealing with her mom. Uh, her mom actually has uh, Alzheimer's and she's had it for the last eight years and it, it is absolutely debilitating uh, it's not just debilitating um, it's not just debilitating for the, <laughs> for the person who it affects but it's debilitating for their family members as well so um, if you can um, we do have a, a $500 uh, target for the month uh, if you guys can and uh, you want to donate please please uh Please think about it. Uh, it'll be up there all month, guys. All month. All right. That's right. It's a Mr. Dark. Zombie killer. Change that J to a K. <laughs> there you go. All right. Matters. It, it, it's, right it's right next to each other. Come Spe- on. I know. Give I know. <laughs> so, so here's the deal tonight. Um, many of you, I don't know how many of you out there, and hopefully not many, but you never know. Uh, may or may not know who our guest is or have not heard his voice. Um, I need to make sure that you have heard his voice in character because you will understand why it is that I was so uh, I was so enamored by it and I wanted to bring him on the show. Um, his basically uh, <laughs> you gotta hear it. You, you got to hear it to to understand. And um, I have selected a particular clip, which is the one that that caught me 
by surprise. Um, so let me bring on the clip. Uh, you guys, this is going to be about, hey, Tuniverso. Hey, Toon, sweetie. How are you, sweetie? Um, I'm going to bring on this clip. Please enjoy. Do that. Hold on. What's this? Oh, we got Thor Spoon donation. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everything is awesome. Thank you. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. Thor Spoon dropping in some uh Hey Metal Goddess, how are you, sweetie? All right, let's head on over to this clip. Thor Spoon, thank you so much for your donation to uh uh to the longest day, my friend. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Anonymous, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This may actually be, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank if you, guys. you weren't sick of that song when the movie came out, guess what? <laughs> We're sick of it now. <laughs> All right, let's, let's head on over, shall we? Come on, Amanda. Don't be such a stick in the mud. I look ridiculous. Why can't we stay in and just pop some corn and watch Night of the Fisherman's Revenge? And miss out on the party of the year? Come on! We haven't seen Dick since he went off to Vault Tech U. And his parents are vacationing in Berkeley Springs, so we'll have the whole house to ourselves. He brought some frat buddies from Edessa. So what? I doubt any of those guys are going to see a freckled girl with glasses in a short skirt and a dumb hat and say, Step aside, fellas. That sexy witch is mine. Oh, you're not giving yourself enough credit, Debbie Downer. You look cute. Besides, the way the world is, you never know if we're going to have another Halloween. For all we know, we'll be spending the next one in Vault 76. Have you seen those vault suits? My ass is going to look huge. Well, damn. They really went all out. Look at this place. <laughs> look at that Mr. Handy painted like a pumpkin. That's great. I think they got cute and reprogrammed it. Oh, God damn it. What's wrong? Stupid heel got caught in the sewer grade. Snapped my heel off. Come on, Amanda. Who cares? Take him off. Let's get our spook on. I am not going barefoot at a frat party. They'll be doing keggers and the floor is going to be all sticky. There's a little store over a few streets. I'll just grab some glue. You go ahead. You'd better not bail on me. And watch out for the Beckley Butcher. Ooh. <laughs> no, I promise. You'll be good. I won't. <laughs> Let's go out, Amanda. It'll be fun, Amanda. God, I hate Halloween. Hello? Is someone there? Good job, Amanda. Now you're talking to yourself. That's a sure hallmark of a sad loser. And that's weird. I smell cotton candy and fried dough? Sal's grinder must be doing a street carnival. No, it's coming from the woods? Hello? 
I... I've got a gun. Oh, sure. I'll double your nose. The butcher will make his jelly with your toe. Oh, no. No! Help! It's the butcher! No! Dead end. Help! Open the door! Whatever that as always goes by. No. No, please. No. Maybe. Maybe. The next is all. <laughs> Good evening. One for two, two for three. Lucky, lucky me. The Beckley Butcher. How quaint. How, if you will pardon me, unimaginatively alliterative. Please, mister, help me. And I shall. The hour grows late and this one is not for you. Off with you. <laughs> silly, silly man. Don't you see what I am? I paint with a knife and laugh them to the grave. Let me show you. <laughs> oh my god. Are you okay, mister? You embarrass me. The blade barely registers a tickle. Jeff, you people, you're always a Jeff or a Charles, the basest of names, but I see right through you. Uh, I stabbed you. The lost boy, tossed to the streets and the wind, a bastard living amongst society's refuse, and your kin, the rats of Beckley. Touched only by the fists from drunkards and dullards, and by others in other places considered inviolate by the chaste. You. I've been waiting for you. I heard you call. I always hear you, Nipsey. I will come for you when I think you are ready. Until then, leave my sight. Leave now! She is not for you! There. That business is concluded. Are you all right, my dear? Yes. You... you saved me. That was the Beckley Butcher. I was so scared. Well? That is, I believe, the appropriate reaction on All Hallows' Eve. <laughs> well, that's certainly true. Love the costume. Classic ringmaster with a hat and cane. Thank you so much. You saved my life. It appears that you have suffered from a guising mishap. A what? Your shoe, my dear. I think perhaps that it, in its current state, it makes this particular witch so much less an imposing figure. This night, after all, belongs to your sisters, long since beneath the crushing stone or burned to ash upon a pyre while cold and hungry eyes look on. You do them, I think, a disservice. Well, what's it to you anyway? Accidents happen, mister. Dark. Pardon? My name is Mr. Dark. Yes, well, accidents happen. So apparently do sewer grates. Look, I'm sorry. Thank you, but I'm going home. This night has been awful. Hmm. Funny little word. Accident. We throw it around so casually now. Like a youth who throws salt upon an icy walkway who couldn't care less for the fragile bones of parent or elder. So sloppy, so haphazard. But at its ancient root, when the calendar prefix once read 13 instead of 20, it did not mean disaster or doom. It meant an occurrence, incident or event that comes by chance. Well then, an event happened that led me to running for my life down an alley. 
when I could have been at home or at least awkwardly standing in the corner of a party drinking, alone and not seen by anyone. Ah, there, right there. Seen. Yes, exactly. Here is where the threads weave together, if you but open your mind. The word accident in Latin is accidat, from a phrase where the word now conjures up images of disaster and doom. Sequit qui accidat, which translate to if anything should happen to one. Look, I need to get to the store before it closes, mister. The shop lights have gone out already, Amanda. Two streets over where shopkeeper Mr. Charles Worthy is making himself less so as he fumbles behind the corner in the dark with his assistant behind the dirty, dirty counter. All the while his sick wife, who has been so for more years than he has patience for, sits waiting at home, staring at the clock waiting for medicine that is sitting on that dirty, dirty counter. How... How did you know my name? I never said my name. But that phrase, spoken on the lips of the robed philosopher and lusty concubine, was a euphemism to die. You... you're scaring me. To see, to be seen. You, Amanda, are a radiant stamen inside a bulb not yet bloomed. In the lonely corners, you look out at thrusting jocks, babbling blondes, at teachers getting too casual and lecherous cads, surreptitiously slipping something dreadful into the drinks of an intended. You see them, and yet you are blind to your own shadow and to what lies at your shuffling, fumbling feet. That is a telling tragedy. Who are you? <laughs> Three simple words as common as butter on bread. They die on your lips because they come from your fumbling feet. You can do better. Speak from where you see, or I have no time for you. What? What do you want from me? There. A petal peeks open, and there is a sliver of that radiant, dark beauty of the ebony rose blooming at night. It's about want, isn't it? Come closer. What are you doing? I want you to see what I can show. Use your mind's eye to see beyond flesh, beyond blood and marrowed bone to the soul itself, and then one step further. Look. Look here. Come close. On your chest. T tattoos Tattoos. This century has abbreviated words of power and distilled them down to trivial conversation bites that have neither weight nor true meaning. <sighs> I am Mr. Dark, the illustrated man. And look through. What do you see? I... I see... a road. No, no. The road is moving. That's impossible. How, how are you doing that? Look beyond the hills. What lies just there? I see an old-time carnival with a ferris wheel and jugglers, a haunted house ride, and a mirror maze? Yes. Yes. And there? A midway. Oh, I can smell the popcorn, and the sizzling sausages, and fried dough. The teeth sticky warmth of the caramel apples on sticks of ash, skewered through pippins the color of blood amongst glittering games of chance. Look, look, see further. There's a wagon, an ancient wagon, older than a carnival, from another era. Door is open. Inside, beyond weathered door with peeling flecks of paint, the color of bone, what is there? Look, look! That's. that's me. Look! 
She is the Dust Witch, bound to the earth, shackled by the fates blind, and yet she sees. Taste to the ages as dead as forgotten tomes. The raven hair of youth, oh, see it change as it sees to the last chapters. The flames and madness. In pandemonium, you will dance with us in dust and no. darkness. <laughs> oh, Riley is dead, and old Riley don't know it. Old Riley is dead, and old Riley don't know it. They're both lying dead in the very same bed, and neither one knows that the other is dead. <laughs> So, 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 hey, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that was literally the introduction uh, from my perspective to Mr. Dark. Um, it, uh, I mean, if it uh, did to you what it always does to me, it's, it still gives me chills, no joke. Uh, he is absolutely riveting. Um, I heard this uh, almost like uh, more than a year ago. And uh, I was uh, I was actually walking and I was listening to the Halloween uh, to this Halloween episode and uh, I, I had to stop. It was just absolutely so engaging. Um, this so this actors. Well, of course, you guys, I see all the stuff in the chat. I see everybody's putting in the stuff there. Uh, absolutely amazing. Yes, it's, it's 2 a.m. Uh, uh, there, Ken. Um, so we absolutely had it, it. It was just so riveting to me. I was I was literally texted Ken like right there as I'm walking like some stupid hour in the morning because he's up just like I am. And uh, and I was just like, who in the hell is Mr. Dark? Because it is absolutely bone chilling. Yes, it is, zombie. Absolutely bone chilling uh, the way he plays Mr. Dark. So, um, so basically, let's uh, let's let's start off because there he is. So let's find out a little bit more about him. Let's do a proper introduction. Our guest tonight holds a professional bachelor's degree of education and teaches English and Dutch in a secondary school. He teaches students on the spectrum. If that's not impressive enough, guys, he also has quite the voice acting career. He is known for voice acting in various projects, ranging from animated shorts, radio dramas, video games, and my introduction to him, which you just heard on on podcast. Uh, his background in theater and drama gives him an edge in voice acting as well as teaching. Uh, I am so honored, really, truly honored, to welcome Andreas Somville to Tequila Talk. Welcome, Andreas. Hello. I'm, I'm honored to be here, actually. <laughs> I, feel, I still think it's very weird that, that people like what I do. Uh, well, if if the if the chat is any indication, they love what you do, not I just see like the, the little icons. That's what I see. Oh, the I little like things. That. Yeah. So they uh, so basically when they they pop up the uh, the emotes in the chat and those pop up mm -hmm. all over the window. So yeah, um, yes, actually, can his voice normal voice is very warm and lovely. Uh, so we we may have him switch on Mr. Dark a, a little later, a little later. Um, so. How are you? It's great to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. It is is it two o'clock in the morning? In in a... it is two o'clock in the morning. It's actually half past two right now. Two thirty because you're you're um where are you in Belgium? Where are you? Yes, I am in Belgium, the, the sweet little tiny country smashed between the Netherlands and France. Sure. Uh, that, where that... we have waffles, fries, and chocolate. I was just gonna beer. say you guys have waffles, right? So I mean, it's almost time for waffles. Definitely waffles. <laughs> Coincidentally, there's there's a the box of tiny waffles on my table. Oh, nice, perfect. And you're having it with a coffee at that three. Well, uh, I think I have a feeling you're gonna sleep very very soundly on Sunday. <laughs> um, we try, but I have two kids, so no more sleep for me. And no more sleep for you. Well. No Yes, and then Jack. I've got this interview coming up, which is in America. So yeah. Oh, thank, Andreas, thank you so much, sweetie. I really appreciate <laughs> it. 
Um, That's okay. So, so now that I, I, I explained to you guys how how uh, I was introduced to uh, to Mr. Dark here, so let's let's talk about um, the question here. Background in theater and drama. Tell tell us how that came about. Where where did you study? Well, uh, it, it, it all started when I was an eleven year old boy. I started amateur theater. Uh, did that for many years and i was like well i really like sorry i really like this cheater theater thing um so i did that amateur wise and then i went to study and we've got three big um ways to study over here you got the 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 normal um courses mm -hmm. which is the, the general courses then you got uh, general courses with a focus on technology general focus with a, a focus on um general courses uh with a focus on uh on hands stuff oh, and okay then you've got art and i went the art way you went the art way yeah uh with, with a focus on uh theater dance and music i wasn't that good at dancing or music <laughs> but i did like the theater part so i did the amateur theater and the, the theater at school the whole time um and then that slowly evolved into uh teaching and voice acting so so you say you say here so where where are you from originally uh, originally i'm from belgium okay i got vlaanderen and there's spreken wij dus an accent that we can als vlaams oh okay all right, all right. so we we'll, we'll get to the accent part in a second right just in a in just a minute here but i want to kind of touch on because I, I don't think a lot of people in uh in in the u.s know uh know how the education system works in in parts of europe where you can have uh where you can study it's, it, you basically study for free right you go to to university for free but you have to yeah, select yeah. you have to you have to know what you want to do right that's that's yeah, yeah. it's actually a very small amount of money well small amount of money it's, it's, i think it's about when you go to higher education it's about five six hundred euros i think okay everybody in the in the chat right now bucks. is is falling over i think everybody in the chat is about to <laughs> collapse uh yeah we don't have student loans I'm... <laughs> oh, I hate you guys so much. I'm, I, I'm, I'm leaving the chat. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, screw this. Screw this, yeah. Um, when I was in, yeah, because I, because I remember now, because I, I was in Europe, and we used to have these, we used to have all these crazy ass conversations about, you know, all the shit here, shit there, shit everywhere, and uh, we talked about education, and they said that that the one that the one thing was you did have to know kind of the path you wanted to go on. But once yeah. you did, you you went down that path of, like you said, the general education courses versus arts courses versus you said technical or when you say yeah, when you say hands on, the, it's the way before that. Yeah, because because what, what I talked about was um, before higher education, that's a secondary school. Yeah. Higher education, you obviously have to know what you want to do. Right. Uh, and you've got study points. And there are certain courses that are worth more study points and then less study points. And when you're out of study points, because you effed up, um, <laughs> you have to buy more study points. And you can only buy it up to a certain degree. So it's, it's very complicated. I, I don't really know the logistics side. I, I just know that I spent four years instead of three years in higher education. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's good enough. That's good enough. It's, that's good we're, enough. We're done here. So I and I and I point on that because we're going to get a couple other questions here to kind of find out more about uh, about about you about the man behind Mr. Dark. Uh, one of the things that I did want to um, ask, uh, since you are originally from you say originally from Belgium, you speak two languages fluently, but you actually speak four. Yes, I speak English, obviously, uh, Dutch, which is the the funny little language I spoke before. Uh, je parle aussi peu, peu de français, mais pas beaucoup, uh, so a bit of French. Uh -huh. uh, und ich kann auch ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen, aber uh, German. nicht zu so viel. Yeah. yeah. So, um, how, so just out of curiosity on that, uh, and I'll get to that, I guess, you know, how, how do you, how do you work those accents that, because you don't have an accent. Mr. Dark doesn't necessarily have, have an accent. <laughs> It, it all depends on the character, really. Yeah. Um, Ken was like, it needs to be like the Mr. Dark in Something Wicked This Way Comes. I was like, okay, so just standard British then. <laughs> just, just, just general British uh, accents. I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Ken, yeah, 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 that's it. 
I could I could absolutely hear him saying that too, which is kind of funny. Uh, Not living here and there, but you know you know what he's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Um. So from the theater arts. You uh, you went into education, uh, and not just any type of education. You really went into a challenging field of education. Um, you work with children that are tested on the spectrum. Um, how how did that come about? Considering uh, you, you spent uh, you spent the four years in the arts. <laughs> well, I, I spent then. Uh... I think it was about four years in the arts, and then I went uh, abroad for a year. I went to uh, London to study English there, and I didn't know what I wanted to do in higher education at all. So when I came back, I was like, what do I want to do? Do, do I want to pursue the arts? Do, wanna, what do I want to go in acting? And then my parents were like, you can go into acting, but it's not really a, a surefire way to get a paycheck at the end of, at the, end of the month. Ah, uh, parents. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> you know how they are. <laughs> ah, parents. <laughs> uh, so I was like, you know, I do like talking. I do like talking a lot. So maybe I should I should go into teaching. They take they talk a lot, right? So what I wanted. So what do I want to do? I want to go into um, English. I like English. I like history. I'll do English and history. And they were like, No, you can't do that. You're <laughs> too small. You have to you have to get a main course. Just okay. like a language or mathematics or big stuff like that, where you get like four hours a week. So I was like, oh, what else do I like? I like Dutch. I'll just go Dutch then. Oh <laughs> so my I god. <laughs> and after I finished my studies there, um, I, I applied for jobs. I, I sent out resumes. Uh, I, I went to places because the old people were like, you need to go to these places and, and give them your resume. That will you'll stay top of mind. I, I love people, people are great. Go on. Oh, I love people as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, so one school I applied to was a school where I would teach people on the spectrum. Um, and uh, I went to a lot of other schools and a school in the inner, in, in, in inner city school. Uh, and then at the end of the big vacation, uh, the summer vacation, um, the school where I would teach people on the spectrum, uh, they called me like, are you still looking for a job? yeah i said uh and uh, they were like you got a full time come over wow an hour later the screener city school called me I was like you're still looking for a job i'm like yeah no actually you're an hour late <laughs> so it's such a pure happenstance that I, I i teach these pupils interesting so so basically you're you're in this you're in this profession be, uh, for a couple reasons one because you like to talk uh <laughs> Uh, and another because somebody said you have to go out and put a bunch of resumes out there. Interesting there, Andreas. Very interesting. <laughs> um, oh, this is life, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you enjoy it, though. Oh, I love it. Fantastic. Well, I, I, I couldn't imagine myself doing a different job and a different teaching job at that. The, the school where I'm at, it, it's chaotic as hell. But... <laughs> It, it's it's incredibly challenging and fun and the people there just make it all worth it yeah so on the topic of fields right so let's go back to let's go back to your uh to your acting part so voice acting how how did voice acting uh come about i mean you have so you you you, you went into the arts right so you you knew that mm -hmm. you wanted to do that but then your parents said nah you're not doing that you're not acting <laughs> so then you're like okay so you did something else and now you're in this uh you're in this other career that's uh you know that that's fulfilling but then somehow rather you're in voice acting how'd yeah, that yes. happen well uh, first i have to rectify something in case my parents ever see this i love you mom and dad uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and they were like, you know, first, first get a real degree, and then, and then you can pursue the acting thing. Just make uh, sure you got something yes. to fall back on. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, and uh, I, I don't, I don't regret it at all. Um, but the voice acting thing is actually because I was a very poor student. I have uh, a lot of attention problems. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I can really focus on stuff too long before I get distracted. Uh, um, like, for example, right now, I've, I've got this thing in my hand that I fiddle with because I, I fiddle with stuff. That's okay. Um, I'm, I'm fiddling with my fingers right now, so I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. There we go. <laughs> um, 
and I, I did the theater outside of school and I also did a sort of scouting but I had to stop that because I had to focus on school and then I had to stop theater because I had to focus on school but I, I felt like ah, I really I really need something to get rid of my creative egg as we say yeah um so I was like okay drawing and writing that's all fun stuff and I want to I want to really put something out there so I was like hey maybe try maybe try voice acting hmm. uh and it was these, these these silly cartoons that people were looking at uh at voice acting uh, voice actors for I was like I, I can speak English ish uh so I bought this little, little tiny Logitech microphone that was 15 euros yeah so I started out with that I was like, hey, I, I really like this. Uh, I upgraded and upgraded and upgraded. And I think it was in 2013 uh, where I bought my real first real USB microphone, which was a Rode, I think. Yeah. C1. Um, and uh, I really started trying out for stuff. Then uh, my teaching career put that on hold a bit, but I was uh, frustrated. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Rest and I I really missed just shouting into the void, you know? Yeah. Um I, I was heading I was heading downward spiral uh, mentally and I like I, I really I really need to do this again. Uh so I built a booth in my shack in my garden. Um and I really started uh trying out for stuff, auditioning i had no kids then but i had a full-time job so that took up most of my time so i'd auditioned a bit got a couple of roles uh then i got uh, two kids which i love dearly like <laughs> they are my life yep. they are they are yep. absolutely my life i yep. prioritize them over everything even my girlfriend um, <laughs> Which which she adores for you for I'm sure yes yeah yeah she, she <laughs> does she does she's like uh, what if something happens prioritize the kids always <laughs> always and um, so I I don't have a lot of time to audition or find voice act uh, these days but I squeeze in little, little parts here and there and I've got uh, people that supply me with jobs every once in a while. And when I see something cool or fancy, I, I, I save it. And 50% of the time, I miss uh, the audition deadline because I don't have time to record. Right. And the other times, I send it in. And you know what happens? Happens. You happens, get 100 yeah. rejections and one job. Hey, that's, uh, you know, that's that's still, you know, there, there's a percentage in there somewhere. Um, you know, the, the, the thing is, is that, uh, you, I mean, well, we'll, we'll get to, we'll get to the, the, the fact that your voice acting is absolutely s superb. Um, I mean, like I said before, I was mesmerized, uh, and I'm, and I'm, everybody in chat's been mesmerized by that clip too. That's, it's absolutely outstanding. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Uh, we do have a question from Chad, actually, uh, uh, from uh, Zombie Killer YT, um, and actually, this is he says he asks, uh, coming from a person who has high functioning Aspergers, how do you deal with the meltdown and an autistic person dealing with stress? That really depends on what kind of meltdown it is. Uh, I usually in my classes I have two kinds of meltdowns. One is the introverted meltdown where mm -hmm. they just shut down, uh, and the other one is the aggressive one. Um, and if it's if it's a sheltered meta meltdown, I just I go to them, I get on their level, and I try to see if I can do anything. Uh, if they're nonverbal, I see if I can write stuff down and see if, if they write stuff back, um, or if they just need to be left alone, because we've got these handy little tools. We've got uh, dice that they can turn. Uh, Interesting. We've got blocks they can turn. We've got, we've got temperature gauges. Um, uh, and if it's an aggressive one, I first have to take care of, uh, to see if they don't hurt themselves or hurt the other people. Um, and we have this special system, which is ATO, which is um, active timeout. Oh, okay. And then we've got these specialized teachers that uh, take the pupils on timeout and they do something active with them. And we can call on these people to help us, of course. Fantastic. Uh, so last resort is, you know, I'm a big guy, uh, is grabbing the student and, and holding them in place getting them away from the other pupils thankfully i haven't had to do that that many times i'm always horrified when i have to do that yeah yeah 
Uh, well, there you go, zombie killer. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That sounds. That, 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 uh, yeah, Andreas, that sounds like uh, challenging. But I mean, it hear, hearing you and hearing your demeanor, um, I can I can absolutely see how. Um, yeah, how you're actually really great at this uh, at education. I, I really cannot get. I can. <laughs> You, you I'm see, glad you get that impression. I, I, I do get that impression. I mean, I get that impression uh, from your normal voice. I don't get that impression when you do Mr. Dark, but I get that impression from, from your normal voice. Yeah, as Ken said. Very, well, this very... is actually a, a bit lower than my normal voice because it's 3 o'clock like in, in the, the morning. morning. Yes, I, I, <laughs> and, and, we, and, we, and again, we appreciate, we absolutely appreciate uh, Andrea staying up for this one as he shakes his hand with the coffee. Uh, I get this. <laughs> so, um, you're fluent in, in, like I said, in two. Uh, we talked about the about the accent, how you how you actually create the uh, an accent. is basically depending on the uh, on the role. You uh, your resume also has you working a great deal with is it, is it fortune teller games? Foreteller. Foreteller. Foreteller games. How did that relationship come about? And what are, what are those games? Uh, what are the main? Uh, what's I guess. Um, what is is genre? What? Yeah. What is? The, what's the main <laughs> genre for those? Uh, for those games? Well, basically, what Foreteller is, uh, it's a companion app to board games. Okay. There are certain board games that have a lot of narrative text and, and characters that talk to each other, like near and far, above and below, uh, which I actually have behind me. I think. Oh. Yes. Check Ooh. it out, Rages. We get show and tell. I know. I like this. I like show and tell. <laughs> I got. I got yeah. a lot of board games. <laughs> Oh, board games are lucky. Board games are great. Oh, uh, looks like Andreas is a board. Is oh, cool. Oh yeah, my Red Raven games. Oh, very nice. So, so you're um, so you're saying that it's a it's an app. It's a companion app for board games. Yeah. Oh, yeah, interesting. It's a companion app for board games, but it, it doesn't help you uh, progress through the game. It's just complete narration of all the text. Uh, by a narrator, if there's a narrator in the game, and characters. They ah. hire professional voice actors to hire all the uh, to, to speak in the uh, speak in the record all the characters. Uh, it's a full audio production. They've got a separate thing which is just ambient music that you can use for RPGs or board games. Um, and I do a lot of those characters. We we well, have. I, I we have kind of kind of a sort of question from Rabbit CB. He wants to know. I mean, do you play D and D? Yes. <laughs> How did you know? Uh, right, right. You all actually play D and D yep. at school as well. Well, Ra Rabbit CB actually is pretty funny. He he says he says I bet he plays D and D too. Voice actors playing D and D is awesome to watch. So, it is. It, I love it. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you nailed it there, uh, Rabbit. You nailed it. Um, well, and actually, it's, it sounds it sounds pretty cool. Actually, I'm. Uh, uh, it is it's really cool. Yeah. I have to take a look at that uh, that companion app. Everyone uh, has to. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. 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 You everybody. Near and far, above and below. Now or never. You've got Gloomhaven soon. They got Frosthaven. They've got. Um, uh, Dungeons of Infinity, uh, Dungeons of Drugnor, uh, a ton of now, different board games that you can get the uh, companion app for. Well, now that you mentioned it, now that you mentioned it, Gloomhaven, I remember hearing that about a, a companion app for Gloomhaven. Now that you mentioned that, yeah. It's really good. It's really good. And you should definitely get Jaws of the Lion because I'm the main bad guy in that one. Oh, <laughs> nice. Uh, well, we, we we have noticed what you're passionate about because you just lit up like a firecracker talking about <laughs> board games there, Andreas. That's a big uh, shreds catching. and paladin dance. If I could just Welcome you everything to the here, gato. Like, my microphone and, and, and my cable <laughs> and stuff. I'd show you my collection. Oh, well, a tiny part of my collection because the other part's downstairs and in my uh, office. I got three spaces to put my board oh games. Oh my stuff. god! <laughs> uh, he's a it. he's a board game hoarder, guys. I board game it. hoarder is great. I'm a collector. <laughs> collector exactly. hoarder, eh, you it's, know. It's, no, it's a collection shirt. It's a collection. Six of one, <laughs> half a dozen of the other. Uh, the <laughs> Chris, the key. Thank you so much for the follow, sweetie. Um, okay, so tell us. Let's let's talk about let's talk about the character. Tell us a little bit about Mr. Dark and how Ken presented this part to you. First off, how did Ken find you, and and was this a departure uh, for you versus other voice acting roles? Well, um, it's actually quite 
funny well funny to me um it could be funny to since us i don't <laughs> since i don't have a lot of time to voice act these days um i um i prioritize paid roles but i uh, saw this one uh come along i was like looking for a uh, big bad guy sort of like uh mr dark in something we get this way comes uh and i was like oh i'll, I'll shoot the guy in the email and he was like yeah it's actually just uh, this part of something wicked this way comes record that as an audition i was like okay sure i'll do that and then when i was recording i was like i really i really like this uh maybe i should add uh add, add little um because he's tearing up um little papers i think okay. so maybe i should i should add that and record a little foley there and i added that in and i was like oh i really like this i'll set it off no matter what happens i had fun uh and then ken was like yes this is good i like this Give me more. <laughs> That's that. That totally sounds like Ken. <laughs> that, that, that is uh, his, that is his intense, excited voice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I need and it. And I started recording for it, and um, he was like, uh, "Send everything you have over." Uh, a couple of miscommunications there because I didn't uh, I didn't get messages through, but it, it's all been streamlined in the past two years. I think we've started working together. Ken says that's He's literally how he spoke. <laughs> and it's it's been an absolute ride i ab mr dark is by and large my my favorite character i've ever recorded for aside from pirates and orcs which i love doing um the villains the bad guys and especially mr dark because of the beautiful lines that ken's written is just it, it, it stands head and shoulders above all the rest yeah, there was some, there were some comments in the uh, in the chat earlier about the about the lines about how beautiful. I mean, just it, it is oh. it, it writes. I mean, you know, Ken doesn't get you know Ken doesn't give himself enough credit in the sense that you know Very I mean it, yeah I know it's it's like everybody everybody wants to give everybody credit, which is just a big fucking love fest, and I love it. I love the fact that it's a big fucking love fest, right? But, but you should love yourself. But, you should, but the fact of the matter is, is that is that we we talk to voice actors all the time, and they say that that they couldn't do it without the the script right without the words and meanwhile the writers say well it's the factors that brought it to life so i mean it's such a symbiotic relationship and this particular mm -hmm. character does have such uh it, it is so like like jack was saying it's so lyrical it has such a rhythmic uh it's i mean the words and the way that you present them though andreas mm -hmm. they they drip I, I mean, I, I, it's I can't. It's so easy to get into. I, 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 I literally have to do zero effort to get in the character. I just read a line and like, I'm in. You're in. Yeah. I, I, it, they are. They, I mean, they, they really do. They, they just, they just, they just drip. And actually, that description I, I talk about with the, with the black, with the black light painting. Um, it, you know, when you do see a black light painting. Like a like a real fresh one, you know, one that hasn't been like worn out with the with the felt and everything from like Most years. <laughs> yeah, when it's like really just beautifully printed, and then you have this bright new black light right on it, it just drips with just color and density and darkness, just like this this the contrast. And and I, I kid you not, that's that's what your voice sounded like to me. <laughs> I actually printed that thing out, and I'm I'm gonna hang it up in my in my oh office because I really really like that. I was like, uh, mm -hmm. oh yeah, no. oh yeah. It, but anyway, so uh, so the, so so you saw this thing posted up in one of the um um in one of the. I saw it on Twitter actually. Oh, on Twitter, okay. Yeah, I, I I I literally made a Twitter because some guy was like, "You get a lot of acting jobs on Twitter." Fine, I'll I'll, I'll join then, I guess. Were and there... then I uh, I, I dumped into that shit fest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is a shit fest. Uh, that that I, is the I, best I, description the of getting on Twitter. Are great people. Well, most of the people I follow are great people, and I I I really have to feed myself positive stuff. Um. So I only follow the people that I either admire, like, or um, I like the stuff they do. Yeah, you know, it's it's interesting because, uh, uh, yeah, you know, you, you kind of have to go in there, get your jobs, check, scan real quick, and then turn it off. Because if you go in there, yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a it's, deep a, dive. it's a deep rabbit hole. You don't want to go down because you can get sucked in there, Andreas. I'm telling you, it, it you you just. 
Always, yeah, always Facebook. take the it's blue pill. Addiction. It's an addiction. Yeah, it's I crazy. Take both pills, man. <laughs> it's take, away. It takes them both. Yeah, baby. Take them both. Right. Take them both. <laughs> Um, we have some, uh, some comments in the, in the chat. First off, Lady God, thank you so much for the resub, sweetie. Thank you. Really, really appreciate that. Um, we have, uh, well, we have, let's see here. So we got, uh, I want to make sure you guys get in hashtag Mr. Dark, hashtag Mr. Dark. Uh, we will be giving away a $50 Bethesda gift card uh, tonight. Um, and oh, then, just uh, retweet that real quick and see if I can get the gift card. In. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh so ken's basically saying darks darks drip it will quench the deepest desire available oh my god a, a, available for a tuppence a pint dark strip it will quench the deepest desire uh there you go it's ken the uh, there's there, there's your next line right there um okay so so that's how that came about that is amazing and then you kind of you you basically envisioned him and uh well i mean he's 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 yours i mean nobody else can do uh mr dark um did you find or do you find uh find it challenging to be a voice actor outside of the u.s and the reason i ask this is because most of the most of the the actors we uh, uh we interview are from are from the u.s or they've moved to the u.s or you know whatever um and i ask it because um, a lot of them have either moved to LA or New York and or move or they're there or they've gone there and said fuck this shit and they move away but they make the connections in LA and New York for for voice acting mm -hmm. how how different is is it in Europe for voice actors well to be fair i really don't know um because I, I i'm not that big you know uh, that there's another person in europe who does international stuff which is uh vincent fallow he's a german mm -hmm. uh does a lot of german dubs and stuff he's really into the scene there but he also does international stuff um and i don't really do a lot of stuff in belgium because i either one i don't know where to find them interesting uh, okay to don't really feel like spending a lot of my free time which i have very little of to start finding them yeah uh and i i just i i like the american and english stuff more because for some reason acting in that language is way easier for me well uh okay <laughs> And um, yeah, I follow a lot of people who move to LA to make the connections uh, and either move away or stay there. Uh, and it's, it's definitely easier for them to get into the scene because a lot of um, studios are like, we want you to be in the studio. Right. But that's um, but that's changed a lot since uh, since COVID. True, true. And I really I really like that. Uh, there, there are some uh, there's one big anime studio, I think, or just going to do more in studio stuff now and less remote. Uh, which was a big row on Twitter. Um, <gasps> hey, a donation! Oh my God, a donation! Not only that, but Thank it's one hundred and fifty dollars! Oh my God! Oh wow. my God, guys! Thank, Thank you, N M. Thank you so much! Thank you so much! So, sorry, awesome. sorry, Andreas. I gotta do. <laughs> That's okay. That's really okay. That's huge. I that is that absolutely kind of huge. That's huge. Thank you so much. Oh, and M, thank you, thank you. And then actually, while we were while we were doing this, there was also um, another a hundred dollar donation in there. So I wow. and I yeah, and I didn't get to see who it was because we we were in the middle of the uh, of the video. So um, uh, I will chat. congratulate you. Yes, let me know who that was. Um, I will uh, definitely con yeah, Andreas, will congratulate you. We'll congratulate you. Thank you so much um, for the donation to Alzheimer's uh, research. So Andreas. Um, yes. Okay, so as a classically trained actor, oh, actually, I mean, you, you pretty much just told us like you don't really have a lot of time. So, um, <laughs> did you? Well, did you do any theater at all? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I did amateur theater, and then we had theater productions at school where okay. we uh, studied for like half a year, and then did a big production. Uh, so I did King Lear, uh, ah. Streetcar Named Desire, Romeo and Juliet, Caligula. Um, Cal Wait, hold on, you did Caligula? Yeah, but not oh, like yeah. the the movies version. The, oh no, come on, movie. come on! Wait, we, <laughs> we, we <laughs> never major. know. I mean, this is the UK kind of stuff. You never know. You, you it's never true. know. It's true. It's true. No, it was actually really cool. We had um, these um, 
uh, Sherps. I don't, I don't know what to call them. Um, Togas? Togas. Uh, Togas. No, the, the thing the mayor wears. Oh, uh, sashes. Sash. Yes. Yes. Uh, with the names of the characters on, and we switched between them. So uh, first there was a girl uh, who was Caligula, and she finished her scene, and I'll just walk up to her, take the sash, put it on, and just continue what she's doing. So at the moment she was painting her nails, and I just continued painting my nails because that's what she was doing. Uh, and then I was Caligula. Uh, was so, so that's almost like improv, actually. So are you? So are you saying that there was a female Caligula? Um, uh, yeah. Caligula. Uh, we we switched uh, between. I think oh, okay. Caligula switched seven, eight times during the production. Wow. While we were doing, uh, while we were performing. Okay, so so we're all interested in the fact that uh, Caligula, because <laughs> we just uh, we 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 are such a repressed society, Andreas. I gotta tell you. <laughs> yeah, this, this, this side of the pond, we're yeah. <laughs> Oh, Aubrey Hart is oh, in the chat. Oh my God, Aubrey! Oh, so Aubrey Hart is—I I know I mentioned it to you guys earlier when we started uh, as my uh, my middle school, uh, my junior high school best friend. Your bestie. Yeah, my bestie, and she's the one who's uh, who is struggling with her mother uh, at the moment uh, mm. with with Alzheimer's, and it's been—I mean, I, I want to say it's been about eight years, right, uh, Aubrey? that uh she's had to um uh and it's it's been a it's that been a it's a been a long time it's a long time and it's like i said in the in the intro it's a struggle not just for the patient or for the for the person who's inflicted with who's afflicted with it but it is 12 years it's been 12 years and uh it's it's absolutely uh distressful for the person who's caring for them for their loved ones as well so um so yeah big big hearts much, out much love yeah Definitely. Much love. Uh, thank you, Aubrey. Uh, and uh, of course, the longest day in Alzheimer's. Thanks you very much, sweetie. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's move on. So so Calig Okay, again, like I said, repressed society. Blah blah. blah. <laughs> what the hell is that? Uh, it, it was actually just. Uh, do, do you do you know the the actual uh, play? I, th I think it was by Albert Camus. I don't. Uh, yeah. All, okay, all, all we do we're, is we're familiar with it. Yeah. All we do is try to watch the movie. <laughs> Oh, wait, too. <laughs> um, so what was your favorite? I mean, so if you've done theater, what was your favorite play to to, to do? Um, whew, now that's a loaded question. Yes, it is. It's like, that's why you're on this show, uh, Andreas. Yeah. It's a loaded question. Uh, deep, deep, deep. Um, yeah, get into that. Get favorite. into the dark mode right there. Yeah, do it. <laughs> um, I think. Well, it, it's actually a tie. Okay. So like we, we, hey, we're we're good with ties. Uh, it's a tie between Caligula and uh, King Lear. Ooh. Okay. Because King Lear was my final production in the the the, the final year of high school. Um, it was in a theater. We had lots of props. We made songs. We rewrote the entire script. Um, oh wow. Okay. And I just had such a blast. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So what part did you play for King Lear? Uh, it, it was the same as with Caligula. You switched parts. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we had these uh, little name tags on our chests that we would rip off and we would uh, replace. So you... Out of this character. Oh, that's interesting. So you guys got to play... That's very fascinating. So it's kind of like a round robin of yeah, all the different parts. Yeah. So then you have yes. to change. So it is like improv. It's like it's like um, drama improv. Like you have to change. Yeah, yeah change you have out. To change your personality completely. And there was this one part that I remember um, where I had to play King Lear um, while he's blind. Ooh. Oh. Uh, when uh, when he's rip, uh, ripped out his eyes. Right. Um, and I remember playing it, and it was just so deep and intense, and I, I was like, oh, I love this shit. <laughs> I love this shit. I'm always going to do this forever. Love it. And then your parents said, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, but it Good is. Good job, first JP. Yeah, but it is interesting, though, Andreas, that, that you had that moment uh, when you were actually uh, working as a teacher that you knew that something was missing right you you yeah. knew um something had y there was a creative something that needed needed s some outlet you needed an out yeah 
So, well, we, we, all of us who get to listen to you are lucky that that outlet became voice acting. Just saying. Well, I'm happy people like it. On yes, yeah. just saying. Um, Jack, do you want to ask? Uh, so, so Jack is. Uh, Jack, do you want to ask uh, a question? RM's question. Sure. Sure. Uh, question is. When you're dealing with your students, do you ever find yourself doing different voices in order to try and connect with them or explain things? All day. <laughs> All, day. All day? Yeah, and they sometimes ask, could you do a stereotypical this voice or, or, or that voice? Could you explain the, uh, <laughs> the the exercise in this kind of voice? Could you do the whole lesson in a, in a stereotypical Dutch from Netherlands <laughs> accent? I'm like, sure, I could do that, buddy. Have you done? Awesome. Yeah, have you done any like cartoon character type voices? Well, um, I don't. I'm, I'm not that good at impressions. I try them, uh, like like uh, Kermit the Frog, and, and and that sort of stuff. Right. But I'm not that good at impressions. Uh, so I, I just try the stereotypical ones, which, which are Kermit and the like Arnold Schwarzenegger, which I do regularly. Um, Everybody loves Arnold Schwarzenegger. I, I mean, I yeah. Think I just bet everyone does that. Yeah. Everybody does that impression. <laughs> I've got the Gollum one. You've got the Bane <laughs> guy. Oh, great! You do yeah. Bane. You do. You do Bane. Yeah. Of course I do. Who doesn't? Oh, that actually sounds perfect. That actually sounds perfect. Oh my god. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta muffle just a little bit, and he comes out perfect. You have my permission to die. Very nice, very nice. Well, I, I hear, I hear, Rages here does a great Donald Duck. All right. Anyway, um... hey, Dad, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> uh, do you have a, a favorite role that you've played uh, that you would play over and over again if you could? Uh, and in the same, in the same uh, question here, uh, do you have one that you would never? ever want to see again as long as you live i'm gonna be very boring here uh and say over and over again dark as long dark. as ken writes i will voice whenever he asks me could you do this character um i'll be like is it dark and if he says yes i'll do it if it's not i'll be like hey yeah. i don't know your other material is that that Ken says, "Fuck, no pressure." Be... Yeah, no, no, no pressure, Ken. No pressure at all, man. Just you supply me with that sweet, sweet dog, man. Yeah, I need it. just, re just remember, do not give him something called Mister Light. I, I don't think that's going to work out for you. <laughs> um, I, Mister Light. I honestly would love no. to see that kind of dichotomy, though. <laughs> <laughs> from one person uh, doing Mr. Dark and Mr. Light. Mr. Light. Oh, my God. Um, and a character that I would never do? Yep. No idea. I haven't played... I haven't gotten roles that I didn't like. Yeah. Not a single... Okay, so... You're not a single one, huh? Not not a single one. No, I've, I've loved recording for any and all roles. Well, Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm a boring guy like that. No, I, <laughs> I mean, like what I do. oh, Andreas, not boring at all. Cut it out. Um, so the next one, the next question I have on here, which I know, I I know you have it. Um, uh, so I I had heard, I had heard, but obviously I was mistaken. I was at, wow. I know I was absolutely mistaken. Uh, but I I had read it somewhere, and I I guess wherever I read it, they need to be <laughs> fired or something. I don't know, but somewhere i read that you had done movie trailers and when it, i wish so I wish when i heard your voice my email. when i heard your voice and i thought movie trailers i'm like oh my god yes yes must. <laughs> exactly so i was wondering if you could please 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 uh do do the voice shreds and paladin dance and if you could welcome you to the gato uh, hey sg how are you sweetie thank you for the follow um if you could could you do the one i i added in there and, and I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna sure. I'm gonna mute the music. Hold on here. I'm gonna mute the music. Here we go. Okay. Let me just get really into my microphone here. In a world where gatos run wild and mice fear bananas, this feline champion rises to the challenge. 
pushing yellow potassium sticks off counters and wrestling them with heroic ease. This summer, it's time to follow a new hero, El Gato Luchador, coming to a litter box near you. I love it. My inner John Bailey there. Oh my God. Oh, I love it. Oh, thank you so it was much. Amazing. Oh, that was great. That was absolutely fantastic. If there's uh, ever a movie, you can hire me. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. A lot, lot of applause in the chat. A lot of applause. Uh, Ken, Ken's laughing his ass off over there. Lady God, big, big applause. Katie Mean Green, that was awesome. <laughs> Rabbit, that was amazing. Lazy, uh, lazy on three. Awesome. Aubrey, yes. Fenwa, clap, 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 clap. So. Uh, yes, yes. Ear the love is warming my heart. You have no <laughs> idea. Um, all right. So you've done uh, you've done a lot more work in the past two years, and uh, you have yes. a new game coming out this year, uh, God Killer Part One. Tell us about the game, and and your role. Yes. Well, uh, it was just like uh, you you got you got to follow um, a Discord, which I hardly ever do because I've got twenty thousand Discord channels. <laughs> Um, and you have to audition and if the upload publicly I was like hey, sure you know it's it's paid whatever um, and I auditioned for a couple of roles and then um, after after I auditioned um, the creator contacted me was like hey you've been second choice for a lot of these roles and now a person uh, dropped away so could you I'm like sure and I'm uh, could you beard number four <laughs> your beard number four i'm beard number nice. four. nice um and um it's actually on my imdb <laughs> beard, beard number, number four, four. Beard number four i love it um it's this it's, it's a guard because basically um you are playing a person um in a world that god created and god talks to you but he's a crazy megalomaniac mm, um you have to, right. the, it's, it's, it's a puzzle game where you have to move to places right. to see uh if you can get out uh wow so so, really so this is based game but it's life wait was this based on real life because it sounds like it was yeah <laughs> <laughs> i don't know it could be maybe you should all play it <laughs> Maybe it already worked. Um, before I've been playing it for a while. Before I forget, uh, Fenwa wanted to make sure that uh, that we told you he was also eargasming over there. So he's having eargasms when you were. Oh, oh God! You're gonna, you, <laughs> Fen, Fen, Fen's gonna go nuts now. Great, fantastic! <laughs> wow. <laughs> fans, I got fans. That's weird. Uh, Fe, it's Fe, it's Fen Waturian. He's the so the song that you heard earlier, the uh, the the intro mm -hmm. song, song. He is the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah composer and I singer. Know that. He he um he poses uh, he posts a lot of pictures of himself on Twitter. Yeah, well, but, yeah, well, yeah. He's a handsome man. He is a and handsome man. It's beautiful. He, yes. He's a very handsome man. He's a very handsome man. Very handsome man. I like that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> We, we 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 all seem we, to we, we've all agreed and yes we all agree that's that's, that's what it is yeah. that's what it is okay moving on that's what it is it's just what it is <laughs> okay rages you are uh <laughs> uh fan <laughs> that's not all i do <laughs> Just be, uh, are you sure here hang on let me pull up your twitter for a second here oh uh, F fan is <laughs> fan is absolutely amazing he he is absolutely uh he's he's one of our he's well not just our community but just he's absolutely a fabulous singer a great uh musician just he's fantastic so um rages you have a question for uh for andreas and, and we're al do. almost at the end andreas you could almost go to sleep Oh, it's totally cool. I can go for another hour if you need me. Okay. <laughs> don't, 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 don't give her, don't, don't, her, don't give her don't that kind of, me. yeah, don't give her that admission there. Don't. You'll be having to read her bedtime <laughs> story uh, by the end of the Throw these questions away and just go for the chat. Go for the chat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> let, let him pick up his paper. And the, no, and the notes are gone. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Screw these. We don't need these. Oh wait, no, yeah, we do. Alive. <laughs> uh, I I did have a quick question for you. Um, you kind of mentioned a little bit earlier talking about building a booth in a shack in the backyard or something. Is that still kind of your setup? Do you have like a, a studio booth thing? Do you use something in your office or? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I am a poor man. I'm a teacher, so I don't make a lot of money. <laughs> 
Uh, and I've <laughs> spent most of it on my... Um, I, I did a complete renovation of my house. Um, uh, and I spent the rest of the money on my kids. So I've got a blanket fort. Oh, oh perfect. I had a blanket fort. Nice. Before that, uh, in my other house, I had a smaller blanket fort with less blankets and more reverb. And then I, in, when we moved into this house, I perfected it to make it, to make it you know, professional level. Um, I bought all the necessary gear. I, I made enough money with voice acting to buy better gear uh, and more blankets. Uh, so, so I, I was more in a blankets. sauna. Most more blankets. <laughs> a sauna. Yeah. So no, I can. <laughs> I feel you there. One of um, my one of my earliest like DIY things was PVC piping and blackout curtains with a blanket over the top. Works. That's it basic. Just yeah. Works. <laughs> it does work. Uh, but I had to mm. tear the booth down because I did extensive renovations on my office, uh, and I'm gonna move it to the garage now but i i haven't had the time to rebuild uh the studio so now i've got a beautiful beautiful cardboard box with um <laughs> soundproofing in it packing and foam. Like it's on top of me yep. and it, it sounds a bit boxy but it's actually not bad it's pretty good nice hey yeah, nice. if it works it works right i mean yeah it works it works yeah um Thank you, Rages. So, do you uh, do you have any current projects you want to talk about? Um, NDA, uh, NDA, um, <laughs> another NDA, which is which is really exciting because it's in, been in production for three years. Wow! I actually recorded that in my box in two houses previous to this one. Um, so is is, is, really is excited it, about that one? Is is NDA a... is NDA the name of the film? I was gonna say a <laughs> lot of these things have the same <laughs> name. Yeah. Same name. I can't talk no. about it. <laughs> There's another one that I can talk about, um, but it didn't get funded on Kickstarter, so I don't really know what the uh, uh, creator is gonna do with that. But uh, I voiced a Russian bad guy in that, which is also, uh, which was also on my bucket list. Uh, and I, I get to die really gruesomely. I love Sweet. that. I, I love dying. I'm not, I'm not in real life, obviously. Ob obviously, <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, I did a lot of work for uh, a Warhammer mod, uh, where I recorded, I think, 20, 30 characters, and they always have this little segment at the end, which is deaths. And I really go all out. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. But overall, there are there's a couple of more foreteller things that are going to come out. Um, I have a tiny YouTube channel on which I do Warhammer stuff and random voice acting uh, to just get some content out there. Um, I also really like making the content. It's just memes and comic dubs. <laughs> I have fun. Fantastic. That's the big thing for me. I, I need to have fun with it. Fantastic. So, um... So Andreas, we have uh, we're going to go into our rapid uh, ten questions, but I also wanted to make sure the chat knew that uh, yeah. you guys have any questions for Andreas, please pop them into the chat right now. Uh, yes, we please. will get them asked uh, right now. Um, so also the fact that uh, if you guys check down below at Larry Leak on Twitter, go ahead and follow him. Um, he also has, as he said, a YouTube channel. He's got all kinds of other content you guys can kind of check out. Uh, so that um, yeah, please please check out what he does. Uh, any questions at all, guys? Uh, it's opened up in the chat. Please ask away. What's my email? C can you hire me as a voice actor? Yes, yes, you can, dear listener. Yes, you can. <laughs> voice of Andreas at gmail.com. Hire me for your stuff. Okay, I'm done. Uh, there, there, there you go. Oh, and Ken is saying, okay, fine. You haven't heard the last of Mr. Dark sooner than you think. Sooner than you think, yes. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Rapid fire questions, guys. Make sure you put in hashtag Mr. Dark. Hashtag Mr. Dark uh, for that giveaway uh, tonight. $50 gift card to the Bethesda Gear Store. All right. Get your questions into the chat. All right. Here comes the rapid fire ones, Andreas. Ready? I'm ready. Which language do you dream in? English and Dutch. English and Dutch. Mm, interesting. Yeah, I, I mix it up a lot. Mm, very cool. Very, very cool. Um... Uh, Bryce, before I get to the uh, rapid fire question, so this Bryce asks, "What is a memorable ad lib where going off the script went way off course?" Yeah, I can't rapid fire that one. Um, 
<laughs> it's not much of an ad lib, but it's more of an improvisation thing. Um, when I sent stuff to um, to Ken for Mr. Dark, there was this one part where I uh, imagined him as an avatar of Nyarlathotep from um, um, Lovecraft. And Ooh, okay. I basically improvised a, a little thing there where he says his name and, and, and uh, he's like in service of Azathoth Adath and all that. Uh, and I really had fun with that. <laughs> oh, nice. So it went way off course. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, went, went into we a nut. the own backstory. Went, went into a different Summoning writer. Summoning dark gods and all. It's my yeah. character now, Ken. <laughs> <laughs> it, went, it went from Bradbury to Lovecraft. That's how far off it went. There you go. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> a little... Let's see here. A voice actor you would love to meet. Uh, it's either um, Mark Hamill, uh, Michael Schwalbe, or uh, definitely, most definitely, if I could choose anyone in the world, it's the voice of Hey Hey the Chicken. Hey Hey, hey the Alan Chicken. Alan Tudyk. Alan Tudyk. Yup. Wow. A hey Hey. Beautiful actor and a beautiful voice actor. The things he can do with his yes. voice. Yes. You check it out. He does some amazing he's stuff. A lot mm -hmm. of things, and you cannot recognize him in any of them. It's incredible very cool yeah you can you can go from kin king candy to k2so <laughs> like really <laughs> uh all right uh what do you like on your toast strawberry or fro for fruit jam or fruit jam mm -hmm. all right with <laughs> chocolate sprinkles and make little make little pims <laughs> Chocolate sprinkles. <laughs> I'm, I'm a fat guy. I uh, like food. <laughs> uh, hey man, we all we all love food. <laughs> Do you celebrate Halloween? In this country, not that much, but we got the commercial side going real strong, which is all the stores are like, hey, you should celebrate <laughs> Halloween so we can sell stuff. Uh, but we we celebrated a tiny bit with the parties that colleagues throw and stuff. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you know when once merchandising gets a hold of your country, uh, yeah, you're. Yeah, you're screwed. Yeah, you're screwed. yeah ha Halloween <laughs> is is a is a biggie. Um, would you survive in a Fallout seventy six type wasteland? I could be like, yeah, sure, I'm a tough guy, but uh, I I'd probably die eating a rad roach or something. <laughs> I mean, it's huge, and what would it taste like? Uh, but the, yeah, chicken. Chick yeah, yeah, it tastes chicken. like chicken. <laughs> tastes like chicken. Do you own a robot? I own a kitchen robot. What's a kitchen robot? The kitchen robot is basically a, a, a big bowl with a mixer in, uh, and you can put a blender on top, and you can make all sorts of fatty foods in it. Uh, perfect. Okay, the fatty food kitchen robot. Got it. That's <laughs> my, my, uh, my wife, is, my wife uh, girlfriend, um, is Ooh. a beautiful human being who loves baking pies, cookies. All the sort of unhealthy stuff. Yep. She loves making that. And I'm like, oh, okay, go ahead, honey. I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, sweetie. You're my sweetie. Yeah. Make the sweets. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. What do you need me to pick up from the store? It's all good. Uh, yeah, I, I can. I caught that too. I caught that mm -hmm. too. I must. Mm -hmm. So, so we're 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 noticing the Freudian slip there, uh, there, Andreas. But uh, we're not going to. Uh, we're not. We're not going to call it out at the moment. Uh, oh, the the wife part. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> That you look at them. Normally next year if we can get it planned. Yeah. Ooh, very right. nice. Very nice. Can we say Mazel Tov right now? Congratulations. You can say congratulations. Of course you can. Okay. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, favorite time of year? Uh, it's a mix between proper winter with snow and shit yes. uh, and fall, autumn. Very Love nice. It. See, mm -hmm. see, Jack. See, now this is this, fall person. this is a proper human being right here. Yes. Okay. Hey, I like my hot summer weather too. Sucks. Thank you. Summer. Thank summer you. can suck it. Built for summer, and we don't have AC in my house. Ugh. Oh, that's right. You're so in it's Europe. Basically, uh, death. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Europe. Um, if you could return to one place on Earth over and over again, where would it be? It would either be the Provence, which is the southern part of France, uh, or um, the northern part of Italy. Oh, very nice. Oh, yeah, northern, Just northern, beautiful, beautiful northern Italian food, and... though. Northern Italian food. You talk about, mm. yeah, mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's tough. That's that's the good stuff right there. Um, favorite musical band? 
I like a lot of different musical styles. I, I, I like Gorillaz, but I also like Caravan Palace, uh, but I also like uh, Bastille, but I also like uh, a, a ton, a ton. I, I, uh, you recently died, Vangelis. Uh, the oh, Van yeah, Vangelis, yep, mm. yep. Yep. I like him as well. Um, yeah. uh, Hans Zimmer, we recently went to a concert of him. It's absolutely beautiful. We, I oh. listen to a lot of classical music that comes from movies. Um, so there's definitely a lot of those. Yeah, you're all over the place, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That's very I cool. Mean, yeah. Same, I, I am the meme. That's like if I put my uh, thing on shuffle, first it's Eminem and then it's like uh, Beethoven. <laughs> <laughs> Very eclectic, extremely eclectic. Uh, I am European, I need to be sophisticated. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Favorite libation? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. is, is it beer? Mm -hmm. Is it beer? Is, is beer your favorite libation? <laughs> Whoa. Very nice. It's my favorite beer. Oh, fantastic. Uh, and I have a lot of whiskey downstairs, okay. which I don't drink enough of. <laughs> but See, I that's... can't drink too much because my heart and liver will give out. So yeah, yeah, we have that issue. We have that issue. Moderation, moderation, moderation. Exactly. Um, do you have a pet? I have two. Ooh. I have a kitty cat yes! and a doggy. Cats and and yes, of course, dogs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and and dogs. <laughs> he said the magic word. That's all. That that's is all, all she heard. Cats. Yes. <laughs> And, and dogs. Very nice. Cool dogs. Um, you're on a desert island, and you brought mm -hmm. one type of food with you. What is it? Pasta. <laughs> Pasta. Pasta. Mm. It doesn't go bad. Yes. It no. gives you lots of stuff you need. Yeah. Fills you up. Yeah. And you can make it with coconut water. You can make it with can fish. Make it with you can make anything. it with crawfish. You can make it with anything. Wow, you really put a lot of thought into this. Because I'm, I'm hearing coconut yeah, I, water. I I'm question. hearing fish. I'm hearing I stuff. Question, I was like, what coconut what? pasta, fish <laughs> pasta. <laughs> what do, do, I, do I get it? Crab pasta. Or something? Or... <laughs> I'm just like, hey, I just and pasta. rates of pasta. It doesn't <laughs> go bad. Oh, I am pasta. Jack. I don't know if you can. Yeah, he's. He, can, I don't know if you can. I can, can hear it. it delicious. Yeah, Andreas. He's doing the. Uh, he's he's doing the um, Forrest Gump. The. Uh, the yeah, uh, Forrest Gump. All the different types. Listing all the different types of pasta. Since I saw that film, monkey pasta. Uh, monkey. No, okay, okay. Monkey pasta. <laughs> Um, do they, this is the last question of the night, uh, until we got any questions in the, uh, in the chat. Do they have taco trucks in Belgium? They do have them at, uh, food truck festivals, but not as not often in the as wild. see them portrayed in the media in uh, America. Yeah, so not, not in the wild. Yeah, okay. No, we have a friture. Uh, what, a what? Zintai. Friture. Which is, which is basically a store, a restaurant, where you buy fries and snacks to go with those fries. And we, as Belgians, have the best fries. That's what I hear. And the best snacks to get with those fries. So we eat a lot of that. And you got mobile ones, and you got actual stores, and you got delivery stores. You got a lot of greasy stuff. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, well, that sounds like you guys have a lot of carbs there. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, it, I have them. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, go to one person, at least. <laughs> yes, that is true. Yeah. That is true. Well, Andreas, uh, we have come to the end of our uh, of our interview. Um, we want to give you a big shout. I mean, the, the chat, uh, guys, make sure you guys put in your love for, um, uh, for Andreas in the chat. Uh, we got TCAT saying small food trucks usually are attached to odd buildings in Europe, literal hole in the wall places. Uh, but yeah, yeah, they're talking about Jet Boys talking about two types of pasta cooked and uncooked. Um, uh, we are going to give away that gift card now, guys. Uh, but we want to give a big shout out to Andreas for staying up. Literally, it is what is it? Four o'clock in the morning now? What time is it? It is half past three. Half past three. Yeah. It is three thirty in the, the morning, guys. Three thirty in the I'm morning. Doing this for you guys. 
Uh, yes, you are. Thank you, Andreas. We really appreciate I'm it. I'm happy you asked me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We will ask you back again, but we'll try to... I, ah. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh you're a somebody. Looks like Bryce and T-Cat donated $50. Thank you so much, uh, Bryce and T-Cat. Thank you guys so much. And, of course, here you go. Awesome. There we go. When you live yeah, in the, the uh, dream. God damn it. <laughs> Garth, it was voiced by Chris Pratt. <laughs> Chris Pratt. Um, all right. So, Mr. Dark, uh, we are going to give yeah. away that card. Uh, let's do that now. And then we will uh, say good night, uh, good morning, or whatever type of day <laughs> thing we want to I'm tell going Andreas to go to here. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to go to bed. He is going to go to bed. I'm not good afternoon, good kidding. evening, and good night. You're gonna, all of the above. All right, let's 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 do this <laughs> now. Here we go. Uh, Mr. Dark closing it out. Last call. And here comes a drum roll. The winner is Katie Mean Green. Katie Mean Green. Congratulations, oh, Katie. Congratulations, Katie. Nice. Congratulations. Fen was saying fantastic interview. Yeah, you did great, uh, Andreas. Fantastic. You are so amazing. I didn't say any stupid stuff. Uh, well, no, you did not. No, you did not. <laughs> no, you did. You're perfect. perfect. You are absolutely fantastic. Uh, big shout out to everybody in the chat and a big shout out to you, Andreas. Thank you so much. Get some sleep. Thank you. The God to appreciate you. Uh, the chat Thank loves you. you. There's so much for being here. Yeah, there is nothing but love for you in the chat. Tons and tons and tons of love. Thank Both. you, thank you, thank you, everyone, and thank you for having me. Absolutely, in it's fact, it's been an absolute blast. And in, in fact, now there's people in there who have uh, who have not caught up on the episodes, and now they're going to catch up on the episode. So good, mm. <laughs> good. especially the Halloween episodes. I hear they're a particular delight. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> For anyone to be up this late in the night, I think somebody called Mr. Dark is perfect. <laughs> oh, man. Such an awesome, absolutely fantastic. All <laughs> right. Light more uh, we are going to head off and raid. Uh, let's go over and, uh, oh, let's raid uh, Soviet Nation. Do we want to raid uh, Soviet Nation? Or Soviet Station, Let's rather? Raid the Soviets. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very Fallout. Uh, very yes, yeah, it is. Yes, it yeah, is very it really Fallout. Is. And red. It is very Fallout. All right. So we're going to head off over there. Let's see here. Soviet Station. Uh, he's actually we're raiding the Soviet Station. We're raiding the Soviet Station. Yes. Everyone, get ready. Here we go. Incoming. Uh, incoming. All right, there we go. Uh, big <laughs> shout out to the chat, and actually bigger shout out, uh, shout out definitely to Andreas. Have a wonderful night, my friend. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you you were amazing. Thanks, sweetie. And if anyone needs me, you know where to find me. Thank you very much for all the donations, the great questions, and just the the, the humongously, overwhelmingly amount of love uh, that I've received uh, tonight. It's um, it's gonna be a great day tomorrow. Yeah, oh, you're amazing. You're amazing, my friend. All right. Have a great night, everybody. Say good night. Good night, guys. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye. <laughs>